Hey there! Welcome to Printify's tutorial for setting up weight-based shipping. This guide is for you if you're just getting started with Printify shipping settings and you're not using the Printify calculator. You will need to set up weight-based rates in your Shopify store. First of all, in your Shopify store, click on the settings icon in the bottom left-hand corner and then shipping in the settings menu above. In the Zones and Rates section, you will need to edit the shipping zones listed, for example, Domestic and Rest of World. Under Weight-Based Rates, click Add Rate. Add a name and a weight range, then type the applicable rate and click Done. Be sure to save the settings. To add a shipping zone, follow the previous steps choosing Add Shipping Zone instead of editing one and then the following steps. Here you can give a name to the zone, for example Europe, and select all the applicable countries under Add Countries. This name is only visible to you and is to remind you which country the rates apply to. However, be sure to select the applicable countries listed or customers in countries without rates won't be able to buy your merchandise. Finally, you should add a weight-based rate following the previous steps. Optionally, under price-based rates, you can add discounted or free shipping for a specific price range. For example, I'll call this free shipping and add free shipping for all orders above $100, leaving the maximum order price blank. Then I'll click on Done when I'm finished. Again, don't forget to save your shipping settings. If you have many products in your shop, you won't want to manually set a weight range with shipping rates for each product. We suggest you add weight-based rates for groups of products under Shipping Zones, as explained in the first part of this video. Here you will combine products with similar shipping rates and calculate the best possible rate for all products in one group. These rates should not be based on actual weight, but rather on a weight you set for all products with similar shipping rates. Find Printify shipping rates in the Help menu. The following instructions are a suggestion to help you ensure shipping rates as close as possible to the averages for several products within one shipping group. Imagine your average shipping rate for one group is $3 and for each additional item, $0.50. Cents. For one item purchased in this group, Add a name such as Featherweight 1 with the weight range 1 pound to 3 pounds and set the price to $3 following the instructions above. Make sure you set the weight for each product in this group to 3 pounds in your Shopify store. You'll see how to do this in the next part of this video. For two items purchased in this group, add Featherweight 2 with the weight range 3.1 pounds to 6 pounds and set the price to $3.50. That's $3 for the first product plus an additional 50 cents for one additional product. For three items purchased in this group, add Featherweight 3 with the weight range 6.1 pounds to 9 pounds and set the price to $4.00. That's $3.50 for the first two products, plus an additional $0.50 cents for one additional product. You can add as many groups as needed based on an estimated maximum number of items sold. Be sure to choose names which are easy to remember for each group of products. It's a good idea to set the weight and the weight ranges of different groups quite differently for example, featherweight items set to 3 pounds, super featherweight items set to 30 pounds, 
and lightweight items set to 300 pounds. This way, you can also create groups based on combinations of products with very different shipping rates. For example, if you set the shipping rate of Featherweight to $3 and Super Featherweight to $8, you could create a combined group called Featherweight AB and a shipping rate of $11 and set the weight range to 31 pounds to 33 pounds. Although no combination of weight-based rates can be perfect, we hope this suggestion will help those not ready to use our simplified shipping calculator. A simpler way to set weight-based rates is to calculate an average rate for all products and set one weight-based rate per shipping zone. For example, $5 for domestic, $10 for Europe, and $15 for rest of the world. This way your shipping rates may not be very accurate, but you will still get pretty good averages. You want to know how to change the weights of products in Shopify? In order to ensure correct shipping rates, you'll have to set the weight of each product to match the weight-based rates you set for the respective product group. Follow these steps here. In the Shopify menu, Click on Products and select the product you want to set the rates for. Scroll down to Shipping and under Weight, set the weight to match the weight-based rates you set in your shipping settings. Be sure to click Save when you're finished. Alternatively, if the product has more variants, scroll down to the list of variants, click on Edit next to a variant, scroll down and change the weight. Be sure to save these settings as well. Thank you for listening. I hope this tutorial helps you set up your shipping rates.